Thunder's week-long swing to the West Coast begins in San Francisco here as the team takes on the Warriors tonight. And this is not exactly one of those baseball series that we've seen in recent years where you play back-to-back, -back, but it's pretty darn close as the Thunder and the Warriors meet up again just a few days after their last meeting in Oklahoma City. We had the game kind of under control coming out of the half. We were kind of in a similar situation to the other night uh, and just couldn't, you know, keep it there. You know, credit them. They made some shots and made some plays there to open the game up. It's off the house. No. Oh. <laughs> nice move by Josh Giddy. Bokashevsky lines up a three ball. Some of those guys hadn't played up until that point. And the way you keep yourself ready and the way you stay sharp and the way you build trust with your team is by going out there and playing the right way regardless of circumstance. And one thing that we want to pride ourselves in is running through the finish line. You only get 48 minutes, you only get 82 games, and we don't want to waste any of them, especially with a growing team. Those are all opportunities. I thought those guys did a nice job. Hayden trying to get back, but the hit ahead. The deck lays it up and in, and he's got five points over the last couple of possessions. That's just important, man. Like, those minutes matter. Um, you know, those minutes add up. Those minutes are, you know, can help you get into a rhythm. Those minutes can help you, um, you know, learn some things, get, get extra game experience. Like, those minutes definitely matter. Like, anytime you're on the court, um, you know, they say all the time, our coaches say all the time, you know, we all run through the finish line. And that kind of can bleed into the next game, too. You know, I thought a lot of the issues tonight were offensively. Um, we had that stretch there to start the third where, you know, our defense did slip a little bit. Um, but for the most part, I mean, we made them, they, we made them make shots. You know, they made a lot of shots tonight and they shot the ball really well from three, but we outscored them in the paint. We kept them off the line. We did a lot of good things defensively. Um, just didn't have it tonight offensively from a rhythm standpoint and then didn't have the solutions to generate that rhythm. And so I thought our discipline in the first half um, and just understanding the game plan and personnel, you know, an understanding of who's on the other team and what they want to do was really, really good. And it, for most of the game, I thought we sustained that. Obviously, they get loose there at the end, but for 40, you know, four minutes, 45 minutes, uh, you know, we played well enough to win, Shasky obviously. Puts it on the deck. What a pass. Over the shoulder, then it's Maladon, corner three, and he splashes it home. And I wonder if it's giving the heads a little bit of the Clippers. As that's going to be a bump and a foul. Muscala takes it and will go to the line. I think um, overall defensively, we stuck to our schemes. We um, we rotated well. We made good reads. And I think, um, as I said, they made a lot of tough shots. And got to give credit to them on that. But I think overall, we're happy with you know how we're tracking in that. Um, you know, on the defensive end of, of the of the game, and I think we're making strides in that area. And SGA will settle down the possession. He'll want a tough step back three, and in the face, not a problem, as he splashes it home from downtown. There, there it is again. As he oh, hello. Yeah, um, we're relentless. Um, compete. Um, and we try to do it together. Uh, that's what we hang our hat on every night. No matter what's going on, shots falling, shots not falling, um, their shots are falling, their shots are not. We try to bring those three things. Taking the possessions. Paisley trying to respond and does right over Paul George. And that's what you got to do. I thought 
thought we showed great poise throughout the, the course of the game. Um, you know, really until that last stretch, you know, um, and I wouldn't even say that was poise, it's just more, that was the only time we didn't fend them off. It felt like during the game when they, when they were cutting into the lead, we had some answers uh, and made some plays and then didn't have enough of them there down the stretch. But um, for the most part, I thought, you know, our guys showed great resolve on the road. Um, you know, and it remain a very like confident and, and tough-minded team. I mean, I thought our floor game tonight, the first 44 minutes, uh, we outplayed them and, and, you know, put ourselves in position to win. And then in that possession part of the game where the game got a little bit amped up and a little more physical, they executed on both ends better than we did, and you got to give them credit for that. So those situations are something we're going to have to work on, and as I, as I said, we're going to learn how to deal with those situations as we uh, play more games. I think going forward, this is a good learning point for us. Whether we win or lose, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world right now. I think uh, making sure we learn from these lessons and not just seeing it as a loss, but, you know, as a growth opportunity. And I think the guys on our team are really good and have that mindset that, um, you know, we lost, we will review the film tomorrow, then when we come back the next night against the Lakers, it's, it's back to 0-0. Zero, zero. So, um, that's the mindset that we have, you know, moving forward now. I don't give a dang. Go ahead, boss. Here, here, put it, put it in sleeper. That's tough. There you go, boss. Man, you help this out, I'll help you out. I don't care. Appreciate you guys, man. No, you're welcome. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Next time. The Oklahoma City Thunder are going to wrap up this West Coast swing and take on the Los Angeles Lakers for the second time in eight days. You know, we were better in it tonight. Um, you know, we also kept the scoreboard moving a little bit tonight. Um, this is a group that grows through every experience um, and improves regardless of how the games turn out. We've had some good moments, we've had some tough moments, but we've grown through all of them. Dort still looking to get one of those threes to drop. This season is about. Um, going through experiences, learning from them, um, and then applying them and getting better for the next experience. Um, and it just so happened that it was back-to-back -back games. Um, but we learned and we got better and we got a different outcome. The Lakers with this offensive possession. That is a the SGA three, and he knocks it down. I just felt it. Um, I usually don't shoot that shot in the game. Uh, something I practice though, I practice that like we, we kind of shoot that shot at the end of every practice when we're done with our competition shooting. Um, and if I felt confident, um, I feel confident I shoot the ball. And I was, it was something that I was familiar with, so it wasn't like a crazy shot to me. Um, but yeah, I felt good when I shot it. Ty Jerome does a nice job. Sends it back outside to Jerome, and he's got five in a row. Ty's obviously a really good shooter. Um, but I think more and more of what stood out to us is his, his readiness. Um, he doesn't play every night. Um, he's always there for us um, as a good teammate. You know, and he's ready when his number was called. Uh, he, he contributed big tonight and helped us get a W. 
We have an eight-point lead. Baisley sees a crease, goes to the rim, right hand, the scoop and score. With the pass, it leads to a two-on-one. Giddy lobs it up, and Baisley with the redirect. We all can play, you know. Uh, you know, it's always next man up. Uh, you know, it's a team sport, so uh, if one guy don't don't have it going one night, then you know, next man up, like I said. But uh, you know, that's that's expected of the group. Uh, just step up and play. I think just how individually tough every guy is on this team. Um, I mean, we know it's not going to be easy. You know, it's a, it's a long, hard road for us. But, um, you know, every guy on this team <clears throat> just want to come out and, and just play hard. You know, whether they play one night and not play. Like, some guys don't didn't play last game. And, like, top for instance, he came in and had a great night for us tonight. Really gave us a lift off the bench. Um, it's just guys just play together, play hard, tough-minded, and um, we don't really play the score. We just go out there, play hard, have fun, and you know we look up in the fourth quarter, see it's a close game. Then we try to dial in together as a team. But um, overall, man, it just we just play hard. We are back from California and just hours from tip-off here at Paycom Center as the Thunder host the San Antonio Spurs. A quick one-game homestand for the Thunder. They, they were the more physical team in the first half. Uh, they were living in the paint. They were on the glass. We weren't. Uh, and then in the second half, specifically the third quarter, I thought uh, we really got physical at the basket, um, had some great verticality plays. We really rebounded the ball, both ends of the floor. And we had more of an attack mentality, um, kind of on our secondary plays. Uh, so I thought that was the difference tonight. Giddy, he'll turn the corner, go right up to the rim and scoop it home. Shaving down that 10-point halftime deficit. Before I answer that, um, I got to acknowledge like Mike Muscala. The ball is scraped up by Muscala, puts it up off the glass, counted in a foul. I don't know if Mike knows this, but like I, like I look up to him. Like his work ethic, you know, he comes in every day. Um, you know, he does what he's supposed to do. Um, he's positive. He's a you know he's a leader. I know coach describes you know being a leader is doing the right thing, but you know he's always doing that. Um, and just to see Mike, you know, and his readiness, you know, whether he is playing good or playing bad, you know, he always comes in with the same energy and effort. Um, you know, and today he was rewarded for it, and I was super happy, super happy for him. I feel like he, he's one of the most like prepared guys like I've ever been around. Like when he's working out in, in practice or pre-practice, every shot he takes is a game-like shot or every everything he does is game-like. So being able to see that and he can come off the bench right away, hit three threes or whatever he can, does to contribute, it just, it just shows that his preparation leads to success on the court. Side steps for the three. Baisley at the apex, slams it home. He was really good uh, both ends uh, from the jump. Um, he, I thought tonight from an energy standpoint, that was a new ceiling for him. Reflection by Williams, hip to hip with Vassell, fends him off and scores off the deck. How about the rookie Michael Jeremiah Robinson Earl? He got the start and now getting some big closing time minutes. One of the things that I think is synonymous with the Thunder is a competitive juice that's like at you and putting teams on their heels with a mentality and with a physicality. And I thought we captured that there in the second half tonight a little bit. There were a ton of guys that were all over the floor, and I, I just thought collectively as a team, the competitive level we went to in the second half was really impressive. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's momentum. It's, it's stuff to build off of. Um, you know, we won, but, you know, we got to get ready for the next one. Um, I think. You know, it's, it's just something for us to build off of. Um, you know, I, I think we're starting to see um, just how resilient we have to be, um, just how tough we have to be, um, you know, to, to get to get these games and, and you know, to, to win these games. Um, I mean, I, I think we're going in the right direction. Defensively beating the San Antonio Spurs 99-94. Yeah, I thought we just we did a good job of recognizing what that game required. They threw the first punch. They were the more physical team. Uh, and to the credit of our guys, I thought we came out of halftime with 
um, the blueprint for how to go try to get the game, and, and that's what we did. It was good. Being down uh, in those two games, you know, it kind of it, it gives you the confidence to where, hey, uh, if we're in, if we find ourselves in a, in this position again, you know, uh, you know, we've we've came back and won games uh, where we've been down. So uh, just kind of gives you that confidence as a team, and uh, yeah, it's a good feeling. Yeah, I think. You can always assume that the opponent's going to be motivated because it's a competitive league and these are really good players and really prideful, you know, teams. Um, so you can expect a motivated opponent every night. After one game at home, the Thunder back on the road for one game down here in New Orleans. You know, we stuck with it, got some stops, got some big rebounds there down the stretch. Um, you know, we got to learn the lessons of, you know, 48 minutes when you're holding the lead like that. You got to uh, stay aggressive, but also, you know, with intelligence. Uh, so there's lessons in the game. We just try to play the right way um, on both ends of the floor. Um, try to play downhill, get in the paint, um, kick outs, drive closeouts, one more extra passes. Um, and then defensively, we try to, you know what I'm saying, apply pressure, be in the paint, um, close out the shooters, um, just do everything that we could in our capabilities to, uh, to get a lead. I've said this before, we need everybody um, when we play. We need everyone to contribute. Um, in order for us to get a win. Um, and you guys have seen that multiple nights in a row now. Um, guys are ready, guys are coming in and play big minutes and, and help us get W's across the board. Happy for him. Um, not surprised though, you know, he's for a young player, he's got a body of work now. Uh, and we've seen him have ups and downs. And, you know, he's a resilient guy. He just keeps competing. Uh, so we knew he'd break through at some point. I think we executed well. You know, we, we stuck to what we, you know, drew up and, and watched over film. And I think we executed that. So, um, you know, as you said, they're, they're a high-scoring team. They, they crashed the balls really hard. So at halftime, we addressed that, you know, to limit their second chance points. So um, I think in that second half, we cleaned some of those areas up. And, and that's what left us in the game. We're getting better every night, um, and I personally can feel it. Uh, guys are getting more comfortable playing together, um, and I knew with the group of guys we had that it would come. Um, but obviously, it's it's, it's fun. Um, it's a grind. It's what you go through, and what we we all work our whole life to, to do is play basketball at this level um, and try to get better together every day. Uh, and I'm just happy to be a part of it.